Hey guys, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 in the year 1638 with me, NG Paradox. Now, looking at the world so far, the colonization game is looking really interesting. Many nations have gone to the New World, they've gone for Asia, Africa, etc. So it's looking very interesting on that front, and it's making me very excited to see how things go in like Victoria 2 or Hearts of Iron 4. Whether we'll see new nations and of these colonies form up and you the culture and the religions. It's going to be very mixed. Uh, if you have a quick look at the new world right now, let's have a quick look at the religious differences. We can see a bit of Catholic up here, a Catholic over here in Florida. Uh, Protestants coming over here, Reformed are down here. We've got the Sunni in uh, kind of Mexico. I guess that's still Mexico. Uh, Confucian in California. And up here, it's, 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 uh, uh, Catholics down here in Colombia. Um, we've got Catholics and um, Anglican, sorry, Anglican here in the Caribbean. Actually, the Swedish, yeah, the Swedish were kind of here a lot. Interesting, yeah, because these are Swedish. And they are Anglican, because they did these when they were Anglican. But this is also Swedish, but they are Catholic. I just, that's actually really interesting. Huh. 31%. Okay. Well, there you go. They got a colony that's Anglican because they then got pushed into becoming Catholic. Okay. That's kind of fun. I like that. Uh, we got some Protestants here in Brazil. Catholics, though, down there in the south of Africa. And Catholics over here as well. Okay. It's a very odd place. A very odd place indeed. We're going to have to keep an eye on these uh, religious games and stuff here. The Sunni and Confucian in the west of America could make things kind of interesting when it comes to the different colonies that do break free in the future. They're not going to be very Anglican, a lot of these colonies. The Swedish ones might be, because even though they're Sweden, they're technically Anglo-Saxon culture. It, it's a very confusing place, yeah. It's a very confusing place. When I say Anglican, I mean like, you know, English, not Anglican, the, the faith. Not going to see many like, you know, North, you know, Canada, USA probably. Uh, Paramishal hasn't really done much. Asturias, I guess, has got a few colonies. So you got kind of the, the Spanish. Actually, what is their culture? They're Frankian. Ugh, they're, it's more French. They're probably speaking French down there in South America, actually. Okay, well, yeah, we have to, we'll, have to, we'll have to think about that when we get to that. When we get to that, we'll look at the cultures and stuff of the New World. And we'll see what languages they're kind of speaking. You know, normally, South America, we think of Spanish or Portuguese. It could be different, though, in our campaign. It could be speaking French. So how if, um keep things at full speed right now. Things can be going quite slowly. I that wag though. You know, they've really grown. Morocco I wanna see Morocco do the same. <laughs> I wanna see Morocco I wanna see Egypt become Morocco. Just cause it just messed with my mind. The fact that Morocco is where Egypt is. Because they're doing it right now. They're actually taking it. I wanna take all of this. Just to be silly. Just to be silly. Just to put a smile on my face. Egypt just becomes, you know, varied bits and bobs of Desert land everywhere. And, uh, ooh, Galicia Volnia has actually. Did they have that before? I don't think so. Um, I think it broke free, maybe. Egyptian, in particular, is still up here. I feel like it's been up there for years. Um, Delhi just doing what they ever, always do. The vassals of the, you know, Byzantium. Now, I think when we started, Bulgaria had a bit of land over here, possibly. So, Bulgaria just kind of come like the eastern areas of the empire. Cyprus kind of has like the Black Sea areas mostly. Not all, obviously. They've got pieces here and there. But it is a, such a mess. And uh, Cilicia is attacking Byzantium. Bulgaria, Cilicia, and Arabia. Currently, Byzantium, though, is winning. Uh, Cyprus does have its men going through. Where are they going? They all will... Oh, wait, they are... A junior partner of France... Cyprus became a well, they were the same dynasty before. So France has now got a junior partner of Cyprus. That makes France extremely powerful. Number four. And Cyprus obviously are no longer on the list. They're no longer independent. That was unexpected. And with that, that's going to be bad for Bulgaria and Cilicia. Because they're now facing Byzantium and France. And they're facing their former friend in Cyprus. Yeah. This could give Byzantium the chance to eat up their lands and try and get their... I, I wish they could eat Bulgaria here, maybe, like, put this together. That'd be kind of nice to see. 
What's this? Uh, Aswan still has a tiny bit of land left, you know, here and there, but mostly their main areas here. But, uh, Bubble, stop it. Stop fighting, okay? Sorry, the two puppies are fighting. <laughs> this jumped off the bed. <laughs> hey! But, uh, stop it. It's a, it's a war going on right now. I know you're upset. I know you like the Roman Empire. I'm sorry. Byzantium is not as strong as it used to be. You have to, have to live with it. It's still the strongest country in the world, butter. Okay? Ah, stupid puppies. Duh. They just can't accept it. They can't accept that they lost their vassals. And now France technically has one of them as his own junior partner, you know? It's just how life goes. It's how life goes, you know? One minute you're the emperor of the, the definite Roman Empire, and then next other people are saying they're the Roman Emperor. And look at that Malacca in Australia. A little bit of Egypt there, but... Not much. No. Oh, Ethiopian. I, see, I didn't even see that because the color looked like it was, uh, ooh, Omani Moluccus. But look, where have they got land? It's all wasteland, mostly. Yeah. Ethiopia, you sneaky devils. You sneaky devils. I did not even see you slowly take that. Who has New Zealand? Ethiopian New Zealand. Ethiopian T. Tiwapanamu? Tiwapanamu? I have no idea how to pronounce that. Malacca, this is part of Malacca, Australia, who is its own little colony. Uh, Malacca also has a piece of New Zealand there. Oh, they're just colonizing it right now, it's not finished yet. What an odd situation this is. What an odd situation. What religion are you? You are Shia right now. Okay. Some very odd things we've seen so far. Uh, Korea still snaking its way over here. Um, Amdo has a bit of land up there because it's been cut off by Korea. Korea, have you got uh, exploration? Are you doing exploration by any chance? No. Imagine that. Korea exploring the new world. Alaska's so big right now. The, the Chinese, they have so much population, they can just throw people into the new world, basically. That's it. That's what they're doing, because that is growing extremely fast. Then again, they all are growing really fast right now. Yeah, Brunei, California. Uh, mix the natives, you got to be... Oh, shoot. You're at war. Okay, how many reforms have you done? How many reforms have you done? It's been a while since I've played as a native. They have this. They have that. No, no. Okay, they got two. So they've actually not... Okay, that's not that good, actually. <laughs> I thought maybe they'd have three or four, but two? Okay, they're not going to do well. Asturias is now fighting back. Uh, I think... Yeah, Shu. Oh, no, they they finished that war. Did they lose land? Maybe they lost a little bit of Shu there? Maybe that's why they have this? Yeah, Asturias, Mexico. They lost a little bit of land, I think, to these guys, actually. Yeah, because this is all split up. They lost a bit of land here and there. But big wars going on in Central America. Totanic as it's a big war between all the natives. The natives can see the colonists are coming. They're like, what do we do? And now they're fighting amongst themselves. They can't decide. Two different wars. They can't decide about how to deal with the natives. They're all fighting amongst themselves to see who can deal with the, the foreigners coming in right now. Ah. Oh. And Asturias just got their little fleet down here. Telemsin, Colombia. Come on, break free. This one has to break free. Tlemcen is like nothing these days. Asturias has the Galapagos Islands. Lovely little Flemish Brazil still. Keep I keep saying the same things, I feel like, but it's true. New Upper Burgundy. And, ooh, what's this going to be called? It's still Lothian. Okay, it hasn't actually become a colony just yet. And the North American natives. What happened over here? Powhatan. Powhatan tribe, they seem to have grown a little bit. Okay, what's this war here? Flemish conquests of Misoko. Okay, so the Flemish are starting to be quite aggressive up here in the north of Flemish Canada. You know, most of the people up here haven't been very aggressive against the natives, but the Flemish don't care. So you took this land, I think, from Lothian. Yeah, these guys, I think they took this land from Lothian. So they've grown quite big now. So the natives up here in North America, you know, in, in, in Central America, they've kind of been fighting themselves. Um, down here, they've kind of not really been fighting anyone. Yeah, just just uh, trying to unite the lands still. 
And in North America, also some of the natives are trying to fight back against the colonists. They don't like them. They don't like the way they're dealing with things, particularly Flanders and uh, Lothian. So kind of this area. Actually, in the West Coast, it's been very peaceful. I've not seen many disappear. It feels like, oh. <laughs> they're tributary states. Of course they are. Of Oh, he doesn't even need to. He just made them all tributary. I didn't even think about that. I did not even think about the fact the Emperor of China could just tributary all of these different natives. That is hilarious. Look at it grow. He's just got... Let's look at the diplomacy map for, you know, Jin right now. So Jin, and when it comes to East uh, Asia, you know, we've got some pretty big people underneath their foot, you know, as tributaries, sending them gold. Japan, half of Japan's not. Half of Japan is not. And in the New World, look at that. Yeah. So all this coast is basically theirs. Well, i got to give it to them. You know, that, that's impressive. Do you want liberty? Ooh, no, California liberty desire, though. California's grown quite big and rapid. They maybe want a bit of a independence pot. I like that Alaska's white. That, that just feels like it's done on purpose. I feel like if you ever do Alaska, it's always going to be a white one there, just because it's Alaska. That's just what it feels like. Um, oh, no, I don't want to do that. Let's go back to the normal view. Let's go back to Europe. We've got the wars going on. Um... Bulgaria, how'd it go? You did finish the war. I can't... Looks a bit smaller up here. Did they lose much land? I can't tell. If we go on the chart here, Bulgaria hasn't really changed much. Uh, Jin, though, is catching up to Byzantium. That would have seemed crazy in the past, but they are now catching up. So that's something to keep in mind. Both at 100%. Most countries are 100% right now. We're almost getting a 1650s. There's going to be another new one coming in. Paramitial Russia, though. Look at that. Oh, my. Sweden. Sweden's been destroyed. Oh, no. Germany, sorry. And Sweden. What is this war right now? Paramitial and Jerusalem. Conquest of Polotsk. So they're attacking them. And they're being defended by Sweden and Leinster. Leinster? Yeah, the Irish king... Wants to support Sweden, apparently. I guess he needed an ally over here. So it makes sense. But, oh, Sweden again. Sweden just keeps getting attacked every so often and just getting bullied. That's just what seems to happen. Whenever someone wants a piece of land, they're like, hey, have we attacked Sweden recently? Nah, let's go get them. Remember, this is like an Anglo-Saxon Sweden as well. So it's not the Sweden we think of, you know. It's not the Sweden that we think of, you know. It's, uh, it's an Anglo-Saxon one. Austria's got a bit of problems right there. We've got some Serbian separatists. Serbian separatists? What? What is going on there? Serbia could appear again. What was, did we even see Serbia at all in E4? They must have come back from Crusader Kings 2. Mali? How do you, Mali? You, you, you seem to be hitting hard times. You're falling behind, it feels like. I feel like you're falling behind, Mali. You used to be on the uh, the Great Power list. Now Germany's on there. Where you? What happened to you? Did they break free? Did they beat you up? Did you get bullied? Um, Mali and Noble, thirty thousand. Okay, they're in big trouble. Yeah, they're in massive trouble at this point in time. Okay, let's have a quick look. While we're looking at that, we look to round quickly. Let's go have a look at some of the military stuff. Um, honestly, the navy and stuff. Like who's got the biggest navy and the biggest army? We haven't looked at this in a while. Uh, Jin. Can have 328 force limits. Currently has 238,000 men. Bulgaria actually is second. Huh. Where's Byzantium? 192 potentially, but only 38 right now. Bulgaria's 134. Did Bulgaria win the war? Possibly. Um, Delhi, 96,000. Paramitial, 76,000. Let time go by. 69 for, for Telangana. Phew, they have a lot more men than I ever think they do. Malacca can have uh, 60,000, can have 63. Korea actually has a lot of men as well. Amdo as well. Brunei. Arabia. Cusco. Uh, yeah, Byzantium is the highest force limit, the second highest. Yeah, France. Currently not many men. Lanshan can have lots of men as well, potentially. Same with Germany. A lot of nations could have big men, but they've lost them in war, I guess. Um, naval, force limits. Let's go to the force limit. So China can have up to 171 boats. 
Byzantium 151 votes. Malacca can have 97 votes. Asturias can have 86. Flanders can have 71. Okay. Lothian can have 58. You know, some of these nations aren't as, you know, Lothian and Flanders having that many votes is pretty impressive, you know? Oman can have 56. Who's got the biggest right now? Byzantium has 200 votes. That's a crazy fleet. And then China has 170. No one else then gets anywhere near close to them with Malacca of 85. Flanders, Venice. They got double their fleet that they should have. Wow. Korea's on there. Pagu. Pagu, really? And Kilwa. They're both doing very well, but look at these wars. Look at Sweden. Uh, it's not good for Sweden. I wish... You know, they're, they're kind of more Russian, aren't they? They're kind of this area. they got a piece of here. I wish they didn't have Iberia. they got Iberia and Russia. I'm just trying to think of a nation that's Iberia and Russia. It doesn't even make sense to me. They've got like, almost the whole of Iberia. And they've got a large chunk of Russia. Perm, obviously, behind them. Still alive to this day. Kaze. Uh, Mordvin culture. One case at the five speed, I think we can now. Cilicia. It's, got, it's trying to get a foothold right now, it feels like. Uh, Morocco. There we go. Look at Morocco. Morocco is back, baby. They are back after a long absence. Wait, have we ever seen Morocco? I can't even remember. I can't remember if they're in CK2 right now. Uh, permission of that. Mazab up here. Mali has beaten back their... Uh, Nope, nope, they haven't, nope. Still the rebellion going on. They're still getting their asses kicked by them. It's not so nice, is it? Kong down here. England has places here. Upper Burgundy. Vestlandet. Yaka needs to eat these two. To well, Wanda's actually grown a little bit up here. Definitely. Asturias is coming around to uh, here and here. So Asturias is really becoming colonial. I guess getting beaten back by Paramishal and Iberia. Has really forced them to re decide where they're gonna go. Egyptian separatists. Wag. Okay. Gwynid. I, I would like Arabia to defeat Gwynid. That'd be kind of nice. Then Arabia would be kind of linked up on both sides. That wouldn't look too bad then. I think that probably will happen. I feel like Gwynid can't hold that for much longer. Uh, Deccan. Uh, Telangana is just gonna consume them, it's just gonna jump into his skin. And become them 80 at the moment. Wow. And there you go. That was the piece. They've, yeah, they've basically just become them. That's what happened. Deccan is gone. The great uh, family. Patal. Hmm. You you weren't the, the royal family that was there before. But I guess it doesn't really matter. Armani Deccan of Colonial War. Ugh. They're going to lose everything. Lang Shang's looking really good. I like this. Lan Na. Just surviving a bit. Pegu's not doing too bad. But I'm liking the Malacca. Seeing a nice big AI Malacca has been quite nice. What's this? Luwu. So Byzantium lost this island. Byzantium used to control this entire island. They've now lost it to Luwu. And we've got Bhutan. Deccan. Yeah, Deccan's losing their lands over here. The Colonial War. Um, the Oman... Yep, they want to take those from them. Yep, the Omen want to take their colonial lands from them over here. God, the Omens are getting a nice little trade area over here. You got Ethiopia, Malacca. There's no room for the Europeans. There's no room for the Europeans to get here. It's all been taken. And it's a Sunni. Oh, Shia. Okay, Ethiopia, Shia, they're Sunni. And I guess this was Hindu. <laughs> Possibly. Bit of Hindu here in the Philippines. Okay, fine. Fine. Oh, what's that? Yeah, that's Ethiopia. Okay, I thought it was England for a second there. Yeah, most of this is like Shia or Sunni, these islands now. We're going back to Japan. Still looks okay. Kamachtadal. The New World again. Still uh, Bru Brunei and Mexico. Looking pretty nice. California, how are you? 42% liberty design now. Oh. Okay, they're at war with the natives at this point in time. What's this war about? Colima subjugation of Brunei and Mexico. And Brunei and Congo. So Brunei attacked one of them. Then one of the other natives attacked them to defend themselves, I guess. They see them as an aggressive one there. Zapotec. 
uh, Shu Grand Chichameka. Asturias couldn't really control them. Brunei. Okay, this is actually Brunei land. Okay, they didn't go to the Mexico. Asturias getting this bottom part here very quickly. Look at that. They grew very quickly there. Clemson doesn't. It's grown a little bit, not much. What's your liberty design now? Still not high. Very surprised. Chimu separatists. I want Cusco to unite them all. Go on, Cusco, unite the people. In oh, you vassals. Ah. Okay, this guy's actually his vassal at the moment. Okay, that makes sense. Um, Asturian La Plata down here. Let's look at the culture of these people. So, Andalusian and Catholic. So, these guys are kind of Andalusian, okay. Um, Vestlander, these guys are Norwegian, but Catholic, share the same religion. Flemish, Ferdinand, German. So, these are, they're speaking Brazilian, uh, uh, German Brazil, basically. We're getting a German speaking Brazil. Thompson also over here. Vestlander has come up here. How's the Caribbean looking? Got a nice little Cuba, 21%. Swedish, West Indies. Flan oh, they're fighting Sweden. Wait, are they trying to get independence? Leinster War for Independence. Wait, Leinster was their vassal, were they? So Leinster must have been their vassal. Flemish, Swedish, Canadian, Colonial War. Oh, my. Sweden is really getting picked on right now. Yep. Flanders is like, okay, Sweden, your time is done. Your new world projects are going to be mine. Um, New Lothian, she's got New Upper Burgundy and New Lothian. New Lothian culturally is Anglo-Saxon? No, okay, they, they are, sorry, no, why, did, why did I say no? I was about to say, yeah. Um, Governor Eildhild, Protestant. I was going to say, maybe they could be Russian or something, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> Russian colonies over here in New York. New Upper, oh, they took it, Flemish Canada. The Swedish have been pushed out of North America mostly. They've really, um... Yeah, they've actually gone. This is... Yeah, Lofi. It's hard to know if it's Lofi or Sweden, so I always want to check. Sweden still have their uh, Caribbean Islands. That's it. But the West Indies is helping get Lentz to the independence. Does that mean they'll get independence as well? Is that what will happen? Leinster's gone. Where's Leinster, then? Is Leinster... How can Leinster fight this war? How are Len... Where is Leinster? Okay, Leinster's gone. But this is occupied by Leinster. So are these rebels? Did they, was like a, did they declare a civil war? Then Clan Ricard defeated them? But that Clan Ricard is looking nice now. Good job. I mean, obviously they're not, they're not, they're not Irish, but they're Anglo-Saxon, so I'm sure people won't be happy about that. But, you know, they've done a good job at trying to unite the island once again. You know, that's something. Oh, there's Leinster. <laughs> Oh, Leinster. What happened? Just Sweden. And they're winning. Um, Sweden, what has the island? They've lost land to Germany. Has got <laughs> Germany's now taking parts of... Uh, in England's just a mess right now. You've got the Swedish West Indies have sailed all the way here. They've sailed all the way around. France is having a big problem. Cyprus, Provence. Is Cyprus trying to break free? Yep, Cyprus War for Independence, and France is currently losing. So you're helping in that France, Morocco, and Baden. I think France might be in big, big trouble then. Cyprus will break free again. You're not making these guys, you know, your your vassals, apparently. They don't want it. Uh, Bekos family. He's a, a duchy. You're a duchy. Okay, Duke Bekos. So I guess you're still the same dynasty as before, yeah? Oh, no, actually, no. Oh, so what happened was Sebastopolos. So, actually, the Bolos died out. Re no, Regency for Bolos. Okay, I was about to say, I was getting confused there. Okay, so Regency right now for a Bolos. Okay, it's still that family alive. Germany, I think, ate Sweden's land over here. Yeah. And Sweden, oh, Sweden, you lost <laughs> Paramishal, really? Why? Why did it do this to me? You are the worst culprit for Border Gore right now. I mean, I can see you're almost connecting there. You're almost touching tips, but... Oh! Volney and Rufania. Galicia Volney... What the... What, 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 what is going on? 
Bulgaria and Cilicia, they're doing very well. Oh, it's a bishopric. A Khazar culture bishopric. I, I don't know what to expect anymore. Uh, the Holy Roman Empire is still the Hessen family. I'm very happy to see that. They have three electors so far, so they should be okay. 14 princes. The empire has fallen down. They have none passed. <laughs> they have none of the imperial reforms passed, it looks like. Wow. Well, this is a very, very not good Holy Roman Empire, to be honest. They're not very united, are they? Lothian, you know, could be taking their lands from England. We might have no... There'll be no England, no Great Britain. That would be hilarious. I would love to see Lothian, you know, take this land and have Clan Ricard of this. That would be kind of cool to see these two new Anglo-Saxon kingdoms, well, duchies forming up, you know. From the ashes of the chaos that was England and Great Britain, we get two new dukedoms. That would be kind of fun to see. Uh, Powies? No, that's Gwynedd. Gwynedd's got this. Powies is still here, though. De Haybarth's over here. Clan, Ric Clan Ricard, why'd you ruin it with this? How's it going? Gel did they get independence? They did. So does... Are they... Do you have your... <gasps> the colonial... The West Indies. The West Indies has found independence. We have Haiti. Look at that. Haiti, the kingdom of Haiti. King Sigfric Ufktel. He's Anglo-Saxon and religion is Anglican. So we have an Anglican nation in the Caribbean with a king. I did not expect this. Yeah. They're, which lands do they have here? That's Cuba. Okay, so they have kind of this one's up here. What a weird situation that is. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's great. Um, they're at war with Haiti. What's going on here? Haiti and Tlemcen, Colombia. Col oh, so they're attacking Colombia. They know Tlemcen is weak, so they want to try and take those lands from them. We could see a, a really interesting Haiti. If they win, Haiti will have land on the mainland of South America. This could be my new favorite thing so far. That could be definitely my new favorite thing. Uh, Byzantine, Louisiana. I, 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 Let's just move on. Move on. Um, Cuban separatists in Canada. In Canada. Okay, we'll let that one pass by. And uh, what's this? Aster Asturias, why are you trying to make Canada more confusing? Why do you got to come up here? You know, we've got F Flanders has taken it all over. It's theirs. California. California, you monster of a beast. Oh, it's wasteland mostly. 34% desire for independence. Alaska? Only 12%. Yeah, Alaska's never going to break free. What about for you? Okay, they find the natives still. Not looking so great. Zapotec. Growing a bit there. The, the, the new world has been so interesting. You know what? And the new world's been kind of nice because the, the borders are not a lot nicer. You know, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better. Because there's not as much just horrible border gore. You know, so it's been kind of nice to have this. Uh, Cusco ate their vassal. We'll have to just wait and see what happens over there. We'll go to South Africa. I've not seen South Africa for a while. Uh, it's just Jack and... Butter, what's wrong? It's okay. We'll go back to Byzantium in a second. Let's go have a quick look at South Africa. Okay? Then we'll go back to Byzantium. I know you want to see it. Sorry. But Butter, Butter just loves his, uh, his Roman empires. He just made a weird noise. Um, Yaka doing very nice, though. Wag still being wag. Egypt just still being destroyed. Mali. Did they? No, they haven't eaten, eaten up any more. But it's. Oh, we're getting to Byzantium, okay? We're getting there. Come on. God, he sounds like he's going to die. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Alright. Come up north again. Now, coming back to Europe, I really do think we're starting to see some better borders. Apart from Peramichel, apart from them, you know, Germany. Look at this Germany. That's not looking too bad. You're a little Saxony here. You know, uh, Flanders always looking okay. It's always kind of connected in some ways, mostly. Get a little Gilray there. Um, Clan Ricard. Lothian took that. There you go. Lothian and Clan Ricard sharing Scotland. Apart from that, 
independent Irish king up here on some islands outside of Scotland, Outer Hebrides, the Isles. Are you still a king? Yeah, you're still the same king. You're still Irish. Okay. Is this actually Irish here? The culture is Irish. Okay, fine. Um, what? Oh, no. I forgot Norway. I forgot all about you for so long. You st you never went for exploration. Why? Um, you got like Ancona's looking pretty good. Provence. Savoy is almost connected. France seems to be destroying Austria. Look at this. Look at this campaign against France, Mali, and it's all war. Everyone's trying to take it down. Austria. They've had enough of the Lombard family, Bassenheim. They're in big trouble. They've lost all those wars. France could eat this. If France eats that up, that'll be much nicer. So like I said, Angelicia is also looking pretty good. Cilicia, Cilicia, why? Why are you over here? Um, except for France's bit of land there. But it, overall, it's not as bad as it used to be, I feel like. I feel like we are starting to see nations. Uh, Suomi, I think, expanded a bit here. Upper Burgundy finished them off up here, though. This area is a mess, I will admit, though. <laughs> this area is mostly a mess. Smolensk, you still a vassal of the Byzantine? There you, okay. It's like 0%. See, there you go, Butter. Butter, look. The Byzantium. There you go. See, he's happy now. He's getting very upset earlier. I do apologize. I do apologize. Kimak is looking pretty good. That's a nice Kimak. Not too bad. Uh, Amdo is at war with Heishi and Korea. And they're currently losing quite badly. This could be a good comeback for Heishi and Korea. Uh, Buyetia. Who's in control of this? Isn't... Is that... No, it's not, is it? That's not Genghis Khan's descendants, is it? It looks... It definitely starts with a B, I'm pretty sure. It looks similar, but I'm not sure if it's the same name. The nation was the same. They were that country before at some point, but it's hard to know. Okay, oh man, they didn't take all of Deccan's lands, actually. Actually, Deccan, are you still around? Deccan? You, uh, Deccan's on life support right now, I feel like. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Who's actually the great powers? Look at Jin. Catching up. Delhi. Bulgaria. Malacca's made it onto the great power list. Wow. Wow. That's impressive. And no Japan yet. Windows 1660. Still no United Japan. They couldn't do it. China got the little bit of north there. We'll have to come back to this war later and see what happened. Let's go over here. Okay. California now start getting close to the uh the western um it's, it's confusing because this is technically Western New World, but these are Western colonies of Western nations in the West of Europe. Well the West of the old world, I guess we'll say. It's a very confusing state of affairs, but yes. Okay, some of the natives are starting to you know, break. They're starting to attack each other. They're getting a bit rowdy now because, you know, they can see these people coming in. They need to try and defend themselves, get more powerful. And it's maybe too late. Per oh, Paramishal, please don't. Please don't come to the New World. Please. Please don't come. Um, Shu has eaten up Asturias' lands over here. And, uh, oh, Asturia. Look at Shu, Mexico. They've eaten up their colonies over here. How is a... Uh, How's Haiti doing? You finished your war. You didn't take their lands. Tlemcen, Colombia. 6%. That's a shame. Oh, they got a bit here. Maybe they did get some. Maybe they got a little piece down here. I'm not sure if they had that before. But that's... In, they've now got a piece on the mainland. So that could change everything. Cusco. Not attacking anyone just yet. What's this? Asturian. Oh, Asturian. Look at this. They're now losing this as well. And that were Flanders, Permitial. It's all going on right now. Asturian colonial war, conquest. Asturi, you know, Sweden and Asturias are two of the, the big victims at this point. Vestland has come back. They beat back the natives here in Brazil. Decided to get a good power base. I feel like we have to end this part here, actually, because we're about to go over time. So, guys, thank you for joining. The new world has been pretty crazy right now. It's getting pretty hectic, as we can see here. Everyone is really starting to want to take what they can. They realize that it's a, it's a race against time. They need to take it back. And some nations have been targeted as potential targets for most people. Ones who've made lots of enemies, like Sweden 
and Asturias. Lithuania is <laughs> Lithuania, Germany. Uh, Clan Ricard, now it's like the south. Can Clan Ricard, they've got the whole of Ireland. Can Clan Ricard create Great Britain in like 1700? We'll have to wait and see. That actually could be a possibility at this point, which is very weird. Uh, Galicia, Volnia, look at this. Wow, some really nice nations haven't appeared and started to break out from the old guard, shall we say, from the ones that came from CK2. Nice to see that. It's been really nice to see that in some ways. But yeah, we'll be back next time. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you soon.